All families will have different rules and different ways of living. They're not always going to be the same as yours and it's good to prepare your children that things may be different when they're at somebody else's house. As your children go up, they are going to want to spend more time with their friends going over to their houses and likewise they're going to want their friends to come over to yours too. If a child goes to somebody else's house and they have terrible manners or they're incredibly rude, those parents will say, I don't want that child to come again. So it's very important that your child has good manners. It's definitely good to lead by example as a parent when it comes to basic manners. If your please and thank yous are used regularly in the home, your children will naturally use them too. It's best that you use good language in the home all the time. There might be some slight differences. They may not use the same cutlery when they're eating. They might be even having finger foods, for example. When your children are there, it's best for them to know about that beforehand so they can be comfortable and just go with the flow. If your child has their friends over for tea or to a sleepover and maybe they say something or act in a way that's disrespectful, yes, you should always let them know that it's not the way that you do things in your home, just to make them understand so they don't do it again. It's always a good idea to talk to the parents they're going to stay with, have a chat with them, let them know your concerns and also your boundaries as a parent. Very important that they know things that you just wouldn't want your children to do. If your child comes back from staying at a friend's for the weekend and they may disclose some information to you that made them feel uncomfortable or wasn't very pleasant, you have an opportunity to either speak to the parents about it and just go over your concerns really, or just speak to your child and say, maybe it's a good idea if you don't go there again. When a child is going to stay with a non-resident parent or maybe another family member, of course there are situations where they may play you both off against each other. That's quite common in younger children. It's good to have a chat with the person they're going to stay with so you both know what your ground rules are. Be consistent with this and both have an understanding that you work together as a team really with the child, knowing that when they're there, the things they're going to be doing are very similar, their rules are going to be very similar, it helps them settle in a lot more. It's very important to trust your child when they're staying away from home. You've given them the equipment they need to be kind and respectful and polite and you only now have to hope that they do use that while they're away. It's a really good idea to let your child know one, you're only on the end of the phone if they've got any concerns and worries at all and also that they can go to the parents of their friends and say that they're unsure about something or they feel a little uncomfortable.